welcome to this new video it is all about rankx dax function through which we are going to get the top five ranking customers and products using related table function in power bi so this is the scenario where the customer name is displayed according to the rank each and here we can see the top customer who has about the highest margin is in the top and same way the product which has been sold out the highest has been in the top of the rank so the definition of rank x is so it returns the ranking of a number in a list of numbers for each row in the table argument so you can use rank x the table you need to give usually we will give the table we will take away the filters from the table so we'll be using all function for the table and the expression the expression here is we can give the sum of with the total revenue and the value can be the value the value is option here actually and the order whether it is uh, ascending or descending and the ties whether two values are going to come the value the result as one on the ranking same similar ranking two values that is also optional so we'll be dealing with the table expression and order and for the expression we are going to use the related table function inside the summits because we have a table here we'll be getting the sum of revenue and at the same time we will be using this table of product details and get the product name and we will be using this details of uh, customer details and get the customer name so we have to use the related table to get the sales revenue so we, we will be using the related table function the related table function changes the context in which the data is filtered and evaluates the expression in the new context that you specified so when we will be calling the rank x function with uh, which take out the filter from this customer name then we will be changing the context by using the related table function so that we can get the revenue with according to the sales details we will see the example so initially what we can create is we will be selecting a table and first we will select a bar chart and then we will get the customer name and the revenue total revenue and once you get the revenue you can filter it this is just to check whether the rank x function we are going to use is working properly or not so we will use the filter from filter this page filter we selected and in the customer name visual and we will be selecting the top and and we can select top five and here the value we are giving at just revenue and you can apply it and we are going to get the first five top customers in this list the same way you can copy and paste it here and instead of customer you can you can take off this customer and you can keep product name here and of course you can delete this customer and then here the part the filter the product name you can select and you can there's the top five and here you can use the revenue by value so you can click on this with respect to the revenue so we need to get the result like this the top five products here this robert manoj is going to be the first person so this is this will be the rank one two three four and five same way for product also it will be one two three Four, five. So we will see how we are going to get it. So we are going to create a measure for that, and in this measure we can give it as customer. We can give the measure name as customer rank equals to rank x. And here we will be taking out the filters of customers, and actually we need the customer name. and we got the customer name and now next we will be using the expression expression is we need to get the sum and if you get the sum and if you select the sales sales details of the revenue and then we will see this will come at we can see the difference between using a related table and without using the related table how the value will be seen so expression of the expression we need to give a value we are not giving the value we will just give the design way so we got this we are not relating this to using the related function we are simply using the table as such like that and here now we will select the table and we will select the customer name or we will be select, we will select the revenue and then we will select the customer rank so you see we have given the related function so almost everything has been shown as one so it is not filtered properly so we need to get filtered it properly so we are going to use the related function so we take of this and here we will be using the summax summax and then this table 
we have will be using the related table and the related table will be sales details and then the expression will be just give the revenue of sales details that's it so now we got the customer ranking here but we need only five so you can just go here and filter it and here we can take the top 10 and if you are giving it five here the problem is it has it will be taking the least of the five so you need to give the bottom so it will come like from as it will be showing in an ascending way so if you get top five actually what it will display is the bottom it will be displaying the last five customers it won't display the first five customers so you can turn it down to bottom five you can keep it here and now it will be showing the uh, shown the first five customer names and you can sort by customer ranking you can sort it ascending now we got the first five customer names. so we can compare it with this this column chart which we have created yeah the first person should be the this person and exactly that person's name came in the customer ranking as first the same way we can get the first five product ranking also so we can copy and paste this column so that the formatting will be correct and here we will take off this product name revenue and customer ranking we will take off this filter also and here we will be giving the product name the revenue and now we are going to create the measure for product ranking and we will use it as product ranking plus two rank x and we will use all and we can give the product name the next one is expression so you can like the customer table what we have done the same way here also we can use we can use sum x and related table and sales details is the related table and here we will be giving the revenue just close the Target for some X and order we will give it as this entry. And we will select this product ranking here. Of course, we got the product and the ranking. Now we need to filter the product and ranking similar to that. You can select the bottom five and you can apply the filter here. So if the product ranking filter came, and now you can sort it by product ranking and sort it SMD. So this is the way we can create the customer and product ranking based upon the revenue. Now we can now if you want to add a slicer for the country name, you can select the region table and the country. So here also you can check and see whether it is working properly in the France region who is popping up you can see so the product has changed and with respect to that country it is showing the top five and same for product same it is showing the customer name also that is also changed now if you check it for Norway that is also different for the customer the first ranking customer is still the same customer but can see the value changing here you can select the Finland and see okay here also now the customer changed and you can get the top five ranking customers from Finland and the top ranking products sold in Finland so all these things you can use Use customer this rank x function with respect to related function related table function otherwise the ranking won't show properly you can give the related table function in there inside the rank x function and show the product or customer ranking properly the top five or top ten numbers properly hope this video helps you in analytics have a nice day